all the way back in 2019 when we started deploying in Ireland, the system operator truly didn't know how batteries work. They didn't fully kind of, and it's fair because they didn't have batteries on their system, so they didn't fully get the state of charge, the ramping, the speed of response, all the characteristics that the batteries exhibit. And now we're in this space where it's been proven, it's proven to work, it has stabilized a number of events, both in GB, in Ireland, in other more mature markets. Mm -hmm. So yes, we're moving into a space where, you know, you're procuring um, or selling as a battery owner, you're selling inertia, you're selling reactive power, but also you are selling into increasingly renewable grid, which means that those grids are weaker by nature. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm not going to profess to be an electrical um, engineer, but it's, it's well understood that basically if you increase number of or amount of renewable generation, you're crea creating a weaker grid. Mm. And therefore, your ability to control your asset and be able to provide a compliant response becomes so much harder. Harder because you need to really understand default levels that you will be connecting to. So you need to really get the right data from network operator or system operator to model it well. Mm. You need to prove that your system will be compliant and not co causing vo voltage oscillations or deviations of from the compliant response. And then on top of that, you probably want to be doing more than just grid compliance. You probably want to be selling services, which means that your battery has to be really, really well understood from control mm. perspective. Uh, it's, I think we probably maybe don't appreciate how much this will be a challenge going forward to build assets, uh, you know, tertiary connections, uh, collocated batteries, mm -hmm. weak grids like in Scotland, you know, it's not just plug and play, use the typical settings for inverters. It's now about like really tailoring your response and having a very uh, good integration and good control.